avoid machine downtimes due to component failure with continuous AI-based cylinder monitoring. Our AX Motion Insights Pneumatic Industrial app makes it easy with just a few mouse clicks. Applying Motion Insights Pneumatic on your machine has a few prerequisites. You need a pneumatic cylinder with two limit switches. Also for sure a valve or valve terminal. Everything has to be controlled by a PLC, gathering all signals. AXMIP will be run on an edge device or virtual machine. To configure everything you need a PC with internet access. First log into Festo App World with purchase permission. Click on Apps and choose AX Industrial Apps. Then choose the license package of your needs. You can add your internal buying reference number. The AppWorld user will receive a confirmation email. An additional email will be sent with specific information for MIP. The credentials for the Docker registry are in the gray box. Now click on Download Files to get the setup files. Unzip the files and check the content of the archive. Now we are going to work on the edge device or virtual machine. We need to set up Docker Engine first. To transfer the files of the zip file to your target system, you may use a tool like WinSCP. In this case, we log in to the Linux operating system via SSH protocol. Follow the step-by-step -step manual from Docker to install the Docker engine on your target system. You can simply copy and paste the commands from the manual to the command line interface.
If you are more experienced, you can always choose whether you want to use a specific version. Otherwise, simply go for the latest versions. To verify that the Docker engine installation was successful, you can run the Hello World image. This image shows that the installation appears to be working correctly and lists a summary what has been done. On Linux, use ls-la to get a list of the files in a directory. You should find the files that you have transferred before. To log in to the Festo container registry, Refer to the credentials given in the after sales email. As soon as you run Docker Compose up, the needed images will be pulled. Then you are ready to go. Simply enter the IP address of your target system in the browser and Festo AX will show up. Now you need the initial user information. On Linux, you can use cat to print the content of a file in the CLI. As soon as you are logged in, you will find an overview of the available services, as well as some additional documentation and links. In the admin section, navigate to licenses and click the plus button. Now copy the content of the license file. You will then find activation and expiration date of the license and an overview of available and already in use licenses. To generate the data to analyze, you get a library from Festo that you need to add to your PLC program. It can be downloaded from the Docker application that you have installed previously.
Now establish a connection to your PLC. In TIA Portal, add the MIP library from Festo to the global libraries. Add one instance of the function block per cylinder you want to monitor. Configure the input signals of the function block with the signals of the limit switches and valve control signals. Give meaningful names for the cylinder, valve, and also the valve terminal. In case you don't have one, this parameter is optional. Be aware that only data is analyzed if the parameter called automatic mode is set to true. Now the function block for one cylinder is ready to use. Now we need to establish the connection between the Docker app AXMIP with the PLC. Give the PLC a name. It could also be the machine name as it will be the highest hierarchy level later in the app. In the data block section, you can either enter single numbers, but also ranges of data blocks. Last step is to configure the connection to the MQTT broker. This could also be a broker already running in your environment. On the status page you will recognize the cylinder ID, valve ID etc. configured on the PLC function block.
The auto onboarding mechanism builds up the asset tree in the correct hierarchy. No additional input is needed. A pre-configured dashboard comes with each cylinder being added to the system. The amount of data sets already recorded for the initial training is visualized with a progress bar. In the dashboard section you will also find a tab with historic data and another one with some more information about the status of the system. Thanks for watching, and if you want to have more information, check out our application note.